All right, all right. Hello, everybody. How are we? Happy Wednesday. I am excited to bring to you all today's cook up. We've got everything on, everything in the right space. We're going to have trouble keeping my head and just, just my life, right? Being tall. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thank you all for joining me. I am excited for today. I've created some really creative stuff and I'm really grateful to Chantelle and the guys for nominating some ingredients. Uh, today's ingredient was the um, to use pumpkin, lentils, broccoli and leek. Ugh, technology and leek. So what I've done is I'm actually going to do up two different dishes at once. Super simple, super quick. So to do that, what we are doing is we're going to use our cooker here. We're going to use a waffle iron, which I will use off screen. Super sorry, guys, but that's going to happen. So today's ingredients, what I've done is I've just pre-roasted some pumpkin. I've pre-roasted some um, sweet potato. I've also pre-cooked some lentils. Now, the girls were asking, how do you cook lentils? So they're super simple, depending on which type of lentil that you have. So this one here is the red lentil. And all I've done is popped it into the pot and covered it with water. Now, I only use, and by covering it with water, you generally want to have about half a centimetre to a full centimetre of water just above the top of the lentils especially the red ones, and then you just let them sit there and cook away, simmer away. I also added in there um, two tablespoons of tomato, um, uh, of chopped tomato. You can use fresh tomato. If you have a jar of tomato lingering around in the fridge, pop a, a couple of tablespoons in there and that just helps to cook it down nice and saucy. I've cooked that one off. Um, I got that one ready for you guys so that we can go straight into it today. So Indian dal, I mean, sorry, um, lentils are super easy to cook in many different ways. Red lentils are cooking quicker because they're smaller. Your brown lentils, however, will require you to soak them overnight, um, preferably with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and or bicarb soda. And then the next day, pull them out, cover them in water, uh, about an inch and a half of excess water in the pot, um, and then um, boil them. And they will get like a foam on top, scoop that off because it may boil over depending on the size of pot that you've got. And then you're cooking them till they're al dente. So they still want to have some, they still want to have some texture in them so that when you squeeze them, they still hold their form. Anything more than that, you've kind of overcooked them, but don't stress, they will go wonderful in brownies. Just saying, my new discovery is lentil brownies and they are delicious. So today what we are doing is the challenge was to use lentils and to use um, pumpkin and to use leek and to use broccoli. So my first recipe I'm going to make is I'm actually going to use the, um, and I'm not going to use it, these mashes are terrible. So I'm actually going to use my food processor. And all I'm going to do is, because I don't want to, I don't want to make it smushy, but something different. So you could make this mixture and you can totally, um, absolutely you can turn it into like a burger patty and you could pat it dry and in the burger patty, um, pat it down and grill it like a normal burger if you want to make a, a lentil pumpkin patty. Or you could form them on um, baking paper and form them into little patties and um, that will help you to um, bake them so they don't lose their shape. Or what I'm going to do, and because I have them, is I have a waffle iron and they are super cheap from Kmart. So, so cheap to go and buy a double waffle iron. I'm very fortunate that I actually have a gigantic four bay waffle iron. So lucky me, but I'll do that and then inspire you guys to make some new creation. And I'd love to see you guys recreate this because it's going to be divine. So what I'm going to do is pop my pumpkin, my sweet potato that's been roasted, we're going to pop in some lentils. I'm using the whole lot there. Um, in for my, this is for the waffles. Then into that, we're going to um, just blend that down a little bit with a little bit of oil. Incoming human. Come on, go, 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 Katie. Go, go, go. I'm just going to blend that down a little bit. Make sure your sides are straight down, guys. I still want texture. I don't want to puree this completely. I want some texture in there. Right, bring that one over. Now into this, I'm then going to add, so you can see here, I'll show you guys so you can see the, the textures that I'm dealing with. 
So in here, it's still quite textured, right? There's still a fair bit of consistency there, which is exactly what I want to have. What I can do from here is literally just scrape it down into my bowl. Like I said, I don't want you to lose that texture, guys. I just, you really, really, really want to have it in there. Here we go. Back open the bowl. Hold on. Nice and windy today. I think we're about to get some weather. Now into this, I've also grated. So the prep that I've done today was just roasting. We've got an air fryer. So I roasted my sweet potato and my pumpkin. That's it, really easy. Then I've grated all of these vegetables on the, on, the, on the chopping board here. So I've got some grated pumpkin, I've got some grated carrot, grated zucchini, grated broccoli, um, some chopped up fennel, chopped up leek, celery, cabbage, capsicum, garlic, a multitude of herbs, and that's gonna be our second dish. So into this, all we've got again is just the brown lentils, sweet potato and pumpkin and chopped it down. Into here, all I'm gonna add in is my chopped up broccoli my chopped up leek, my chopped up um, zucchini, and a heap of herbs and garlic, whichever you like. You, there's no getting it wrong with this. It's super easy. Like I said, this can be made into um, uh, burger patties if you wish. Now into here, I'm also gonna add in a half a cup of um, nutritional yeast. If you can eat dairy, go for it. Use some Parmesan cheese, use some goat cheese, whichever one you like in there. I'm also going to use um, two thirds of a cup of flour, whichever flour is of best interest to you, whether it's gluten free flour, whether it's sorghum, whether it is, hey Tracy, whether it is um, basan flour, basan flour goes, which is chickpea flour. And at the moment, chickpeas are actually very, very good as an antifungal, antihistaminic, really, really great for these, but I didn't have any. So use what you've got, guys. Two thirds of a cup of flour into there, two eggs. If you're vegan and you're not eating eggs right now, you can definitely make a flaxseed egg and pop that in there as well. That will work just as good. Pop, oh, wrong way. <laughs> Popping in there my two eggs and then giving that a really good mix up with a bit of salt and pepper, guys. In here, I've got fresh Himalayan sea salt. So it's pink in color. It's the best. Please don't use table salt. Table salt is disgusting. It's got no benefit to you. It's been highly processed. It's useless. Okay, give that a really good mix. And I'm also going to need to add a little bit of oil in here. I put the recipe above if you're worried. At the moment for me, grapeseed oil is my top one. So I'm just going to use that. Just two tablespoons to help bind that together. Give it a good mix up. Right, so. There we are, a really good batter. All I'm going to do is turn you this way so you can see me at the waffle iron. Okay, so all I'm doing with my waffle iron, she's primed and ready. I'm gonna spoon my batter in there. So as you can tell, one carrot costs like three cents. One zucchini costs like whatever, three cents. Like it's not much to get one carrot, one zucchini. You've often got one floating around somewhere in the bottom of your sink, uh, your um, fridge. One carrot, one zucchini, a little bit of pumpkin. These are so cheap to make. Lentils cost, it's like $4 for a gigantic kilo bag. So do that, it's easy. Spread these out. And then pop your lid on. By the way, guys, do your dishes as you go. You will respect yourself and love yourself more if you can just do it as you go. Pop your lid, your, um, your lid down on your waffle machine. Now, let's talk about flavor. So our other dish I said was gonna be super easy and it really, really, really is. Dal. Now this can be made with lentils and it can use any vegetables at all. So like I said, guys, we quickly cooked off these lentils, which was the red ones. They're just covered in water, brought to the boil and simmered until the water is, is absorbed. Then what I'm going to do is turn on my little gas heater that I have here. And here's some herbs that I selected earlier. So in here, I've got cumin. We've got, uh, where are we? Cumin, curry powder, paprika, fresh made cinnamon, some chopped up, oh, sorry, ground garlic, 
come back, ground ginger, some mustard powder, and what I went, I love the Indian shop, guys. You get all these really awesome little bags of different herbs and spices. Go buy these things. These things are super cheap and super easy to make. Everything tastes absolutely wonderful. This one's an Indian five spice, pench, poran, poran, homemade um, seasoning. So I can see in there there's fennel, I can see in there there's mustard, I can see in there there's fenugreek. You see this one here has got some incredible spices in there. So what we're going to do, so these, if you pop them into the dish, they're still going to create flavour. But we like to get extra out of everything. And when we heat these herbs, their vessels open, even though they're dry, the vessels open and they become very robust and they, they, they're pungent and they open out their greatest amount of flavour. So what we're going to do in my pan that's just been heating, I have had that on the burner here. Bring it over. So here, all I'm doing, if I can actually hold that here, because I'm amazing. And all I'm doing is just tossing the herbs around and the spices. And the point at which you've done them enough is when you can smell that pungent, pungent smell coming through the room. And you'll probably see, start to see it wafting a bit of um, smoke as the herbs open. We don't want to go too far. We don't want to burn them, but we just want to bring out that smell. You will know when you've got it sitting nicely. It's actually a really cool, like, you want to do it fresh for every single recipe, right? Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to take that off the heat and let that sit and cool. I'm going to grab my hot pan here and my Japanese pan and just going to pop in some oil. We're going to throw in our garlic. So I've got it all prepped here. And you can do this on the one chopping board, pop it in bowls, whatever you want to do. Throw in my garlic. Now the leek was the other um, item that, the, that Chantel recommended that she wanted to try. So the leek, leek can be amazing, guys. Cook up leek in the bucket loads. If you can find it cheap, grab it, cook it, and use it as a base for everything. Cook it up with some garlic and all these different herbs and spices and use it as a base so nothing will ever taste horrible. So I'm throwing in there my leek. Now I've got my fennel. And my, they're all a very similar family, the celery. Those three are all so, so, so similar. I'm gonna let them cook off. Now you can be using stock and things like that, but it's just not necessary. Especially if you are a guardian or a diplomat, you don't necessarily need to have the stock, guys. The water does just a perfect job. You've got this epic smell of all these herbs and spices. You don't really need stock, the fallacy. Throw in some pepper. And then all we're going to do is once that's cooked off a little bit, I'm going to add a little bit of water just to help sweat that off. And then all we're going to do is add in all my vegetables. All my vegetables. And all the vegetables and cook them off. Now, we're making the waffle, this hot pot, this dish, this dal, can definitely be used on top of the waffles. Double whammy, heaps of goodness. Amazing. The only thing that can be done is both the waffles, both the waffles and the dal can be served with a poached egg on top, can be served with some shredded up chicken on top, can be, you could, you could fry off some beef and have a separate beef dish or some leftovers. If you've got some leftover beef, throw it in there with your serve, not the whole pot. You know, unless you're gonna eat it in the next, next two days, use your leftovers, guys. So in there, that can have all the different layers. Now, someone was asking me the other day, how do I deal with it was a, um, some, the, the wife is a diplomat and the husband is a crusader. So we're gonna see this very, very, very common is diplomats and guardians, women are with crusader men. It's a very common combination and that's a discussion for another time. But what you will see when you're cooking this style, what you can do as a guardian and a diplomat is, um, you would have your dal for lunches, but if your husband's making it for dinner, the way that you can have this and have it with him to a well-cooked, um, well-broken down uh, proteins, like whether it be beef, chicken, lentils, they're all proteins. When they're well-cooked, when they're well-cooked, um, your body will digest them easily. And it's really, really important for our crusaders and our sense of body types to have really well-cooked foods all of the time. Diplomats, really well cooked foods make them easier for the body to digest, which can make them a little bit higher in your GI scale. So 
to mix that up to make sure that you're not having too much of those things and that your body is having the slow digestion that it needs, especially at night time. We want to keep our, um, our low GI food at night time, so mostly salads. There's no reason why you cannot take the dal and take your bowl of lettuce and greens and whatnot and put a, a big spoonful over the top of it. So this one is for um, one of my diplomats in my private groups. She actually, her husband, like I said, is a crusader. She's the diplomat. So the way to get around it is you just have your bowl of lettuce and, and raw vegetables and then pop some of his hot dish on top of yours, which is gonna bring the temperature of the leaves up. And that's gonna be really, really beneficial um, for you. But also it means you're gonna be able to eat the same thing as him and then have the leftovers later in the day. So right now I'm taking all of my vegetables. I'm popping them all in the pot. I'm throwing in some, one thing I love and one thing that's really, really high for us right now is lemon rind. It's incredibly high for us for different oils, different nutrients. nutrients. Um, so I've actually just zested that off and I'm throwing that into the dal as well. But you know what I'm also going to do? Take the juice, squeeze it, remove any seeds. And the way to do that is actually if you squeeze it, I'll pop it in the herb, connecting seeds, if you squeeze the lemon into your hand, you will catch any seeds in your fingers. This is good lemon. So it won't matter. And then just throw away your seeds. Nice and easy. You're not dirtying any pots or pans or um, juicy materials. Now, the funny thing is, there is no reason why I can't grab this and throw it in the pot as well and, and let it cook down. It's going to reduce, re release even more of its essential oils. It's going to release even more flavor. So we've got all our veggies in there. All our spices in there, Ooh, escape artist. That's going to start to smell absolutely divine. Make sure not too much is done. So there you go, that's all in there. Then I'm going to take my dal that was already cooked, so just the lentils that was cooked off. Now, lentils, guys, I'll say it time and time again, these are brain food. These are a superfood. These are so, so good for your body, your brain, and your digestion. Throw these straight into the pot. If you wish to make it more tomato-y, you could add in a jar of a tomato puree that you like and give it a bit more of a tomato consistency. If you want it to be creamy, you can add in a bit of a dairy substance of which is on your food list, which is recommended, like a yogurt. You can definitely add those in there. Mix that through. We're going to add about two cups of water and let that cook away. Because the lentils will absorb a little more. Once that's cooked off for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, we're then going to check the seasoning. And if you heard that beep a second ago, guess what else is ready? Let that one cook. It's waffle time. Ready? I'm going to bring them over. These are sexy as, these are sexy as, guys. Check this out. Waffles. If you've missed, if you just tuned in, this waffle recipe is one that will keep everybody happy. These are amazing. So this could be served with, um, you could spread some tahini on top. You could put some freshly um, shredded chicken on top with some fresh avocado. Why not? Did you guys see my cook-up that I did last night in the um, self-evolution open public group? No? It's a red kidney bean hummus made with roasted pumpkin and roasted sweet potato and roasted capsicum. That would go amazing on these waffles. That with some spinach. Oh, there's so many ways you could serve this, guys. These waffles are going to be an absolute winner for everyone in the family. I guarantee you not. These are a big win. Check back in, guys. Have a look. I've written the ingredients above. It can be most of those vegetables and substances can be substituted with any vegetable, any substance. Herbs and spices can be anything at the top of your list. If you have yourself a pH 60 profile, go have a look. Is dairy on your list? What dairy is on your list? What herbs and spices are coming up at the top of your list? What, um, what root vegetables are sitting high on your list? Is potato totally a no-no right now? Probably because your body, your immune system is requiring a lot more herbs and spices that keep your gut warm and on fire and keep keeping your metabolism and your immune system going that's probably why these things might not be recommended for right now don't stress they'll come back they'll come back so waffles are absolutely done and amazing i'm going to serve them up later but what i want to do 
is to give everybody another pointer. Have a taste of your dal. If by chance you feel that it's too savory and you want to add a sweetness, and I've done this time and time again, who loves um, sultanas or dried figs or even dried cranberries or even dried prunes? Oh my gosh, you could even chop up fresh pineapples across it. You could even chop up fresh apple or great fresh apple or fresh pear. I know Nat at Vulcan is going to be flipping out right now because she is wonderful and she thinks that fruit does not belong in savory. I'm really on a mission to prove her out, of, bring her out of that belief. My mission, my mission. So just if that dal, if you feel like you want a sweetness to it, please go ahead, grate up a fruit that you like. Um, it would go great with chopped plum. If you wanted to, you could even dice up if, you're a, uh, if you are a crusader or a sensor, you can, you can chop up some banana across the top of it and serve it that way. Only if you're a crusader or a sensor. If you want to know why, you can message me and ask. <laughs> Everybody else, please, bananas are a once a month thing. Everybody who, um, if, and that's why I would say having prunes or sultanas or figs or, um, or any of those fruits will help to sweeten. I mean, the vegetables are gonna be sweet as it is, but once this is finished, taste it. Does it need a little bit more salt? Does it need a little bit more pepper? Do you wanna add a bit more tomato? This is a base, a base dal. There is so much you can do with it. Be creative and I would love to see your recreations of these and tag me, tag Shana X Lee. Show me what you're making guys. Show me your dal interpretations. Show me what vegetables you're using. Or if you're stuck and you're still not quite sure, do what the guys have done. Jump into my self evolution group. When I post a poll up, which I will post up every week, I wanna know what vegetables or fruits you've got that you wanna know how to use. I'm also doing that with fitness videos as well. Get amongst it, get involved. Let's get creative and have fun together. It's food doesn't have to be scary. It can be really, really simple. I would then serve this dal up. Um, and you know what, if you got sick of it or bored of it, you can blend it and make it into a dip. Just add some tahini in and lemon juice and you've got a dip with some veggies or some crisps. If you wanted to get a little bit more creative, you could turn it into your own dal shepherd's pie. So pop it in a baking dish, mash up some, so you would steam or boil some sweet potato, pumpkin, cauliflower and carrot, mash that up, put it on top, Sprinkle over it some more nutritional yeast maybe and some sunflower seeds or sesame seeds and create that crunchy layer on top. How great does that sound? Whole heap of different ways of using dal that you wouldn't have thought of before. It's really easy, really creative and super delicious and nutritious. Finishing these off, always sprinkle more fresh herbs on top if you've got them. Go to town on fresh herbs right now, guys. It is the one thing that's going to really assist us with our digestion, with our immune systems, with our brain functions and so much more. Super easy. I'm going to bring some of this in for the guys in at Vulcan Steel when I go in there later today. But if you're watching from home and you have any questions, throw them through, throw them across. What vegetables would you like to know about? What ingredients have you got that you would like to know about? Do you want to know what your genetic profile is? Have you not learned what that is yet? Reach out to me. We can get that done. They've actually got a free initiative for 30 days running at the moment, which you should definitely get involved in. Anyone can do it from home. No quarantine issues at all. Love and light, guys. Have a full belly, a full heart, and a happy body. Ooh.